soft edge. If we move uh, to round about here, you can see that I've got a nice soft edge there. And I've done that by creating two masks. So if I hit M for mask, you'll see that I've got one mask for the car um, and one mask for the shadow. We've got both different amounts of feather value. In After Effects CS6, you don't need to do that anymore. The problem with that is you'll notice I've had to animate both masks. So I've got set keyframes for two masks. It's a bit of a pain to do that. It's awkward. And if I want to make changes, that's awkward too. So instead of that, I can now add a... Uh, whoops, wrong layer. I can now add one... One mask with variable width feathering on it. So you'll notice there that, first of all, I've got my mask. I've got all the different points that make up my mask. If I select one of those points, 